got back from about a mile walk and then I watered my garden and now we're going inside to have some lunch. I need to get rehydrated, <sighs> take a little bit of a breather and tossing around the idea back and forth of starting an exercise routine and I'm a little hesitant because my doctor does not want me to exercise because he wants all of my extra energy to go into healing my body. But what I don't think that he has taken into consideration is the incredible amount of energy that I get from the specific diet I'm on. And so I think I'm at the point where I have enough extra energy to start small with working out and I'm really excited about it. Um, with Lyme disease, my hands and my arms and my legs, everything just became a little weaker. Like I even have a hard time opening jars and I think it's just because I wasn't able to move them for so long and because my body was being attacked by these stupid Lyme bacteria. So. I I need I just want to be stronger. I want to have more endurance. I think what I'm going to do is start with like walk running or walk jogging for a little bit until I can work up my endurance to jog. And then some very light weightlifting and maybe move into a little more weightlifting. I've been watching a lot of high carb Hannah and I've been just sitting here like I just want to do what she's doing cuz it looks and sounds amazing. So um yeah, that's where that's where I'm at right now. So, uh, wish me luck. I will keep you posted because before I was on this lifestyle, if I tried to work out, obviously I would be pretty much bedridden the next day, which was not very cool. So, but I just have a feeling that with all these potatoes and bananas and all the rice and everything, I just feel like I am going to be just fine. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you.